Tea time with Trav. Tamar has went on a rant on Twitter and basically told her family, I thank you for finally speaking up, but stay out of my business. Darius McRae, the guy that played Eddie Winslow on Family Matters, he gave a big shout out to Sydney Starr. Sydney Starr is a transgender female. And I'm back, 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 back again. Y'all, I decided to do something from my childhood. When my mother didn't feel like cooking or she wanted to cook like a simple meal, she would make salmon croquettes. Because it's real simple, real quick, get to the point and it's fulfilling. I'm about to go and say grace. We're going to start eating. Father God, I come today to ask you about to this food. Please let be a nourishment to my body. Please let me digest this food properly. In your name I pray. Amen, amen. One more time. Amen. How y'all day going today? Mine is going good. I feel like I'm well rested. Now, when I came down south, I saw that some people put hot sauce on their um, salmon croquettes. And I was like, no, that ain't what you're supposed to do. Where I'm from, we put syrup on our salmon croquettes. So I'm going to give y'all a little bite. Oh, this is going to be real messy. It's going to be dripping everywhere. Oh, my God. Mmm. That's good. It's hot. But it's good. I know I got some in my arm. But you know what? It's fine, bro. This meal is good. Yeah, what's up about salmon croquettes? Y'all yeah, have some garlic roasted chicken rice. This is good too. I wouldn't go for one of them ones that ain't as hot. Because that one, trying to take me out. That one hot too. Here we go. I'm gonna tear this up. I can feel it in my spirit. This is good. Y'all gonna get into our conversation a little earlier. That um, we had a lot on the menu. I got some stuff. I want to talk Y'all, I'm not picked up. <laughs> we have to get some of my winter store today. Yeah, look at this. It's just so good. I'm about to start talking about.
This one not hot? Okay, this one not that hot. All right. Y'all know what time it is. Tea time with Trav. So. Today on the menu, y'all. So today, first up, we have Tamar Braxton. Y'all, I was trying to avoid talking about this because it's such a sensitive topic, and I also love the Braxtons. I consider myself one of the Braxtons. I don't know if y'all watch their show, but you know, I I put my name into the the theme so. So y'all know, um, maybe a month or so ago, maybe two months now, Tamar tried to you know end her life. Very unfortunate, thank God she didn't, you know, succeed. And a lot of, you know, a lot of noise started going around. Oh. A lot of noise started going around social media where people were blaming her boyfriend. You know, her boyfriend started going on rants about how he had nothing to do with it. Now, Tamar's family is putting their input in on it. And they, they letting it be known. That they not they not messing with Tamar's boyfriend well, now ex boyfriend Tony Braxton called him a weasel you know she, she telling them to stay out of their family business leave their children alone stuff like that and now Tamar has spoken Now, I try not to speak much on people's family dynamics because at the end of the day, what works for somebody may not work for the other person. However, if y'all watch the Braxtons, you'll see that they, they have some problems that they need to work out. From their childhood, adulthood, I don't know where it stemmed from, but they need to work on it. Tamar has went on a rant on Twitter and basically told her family, I thank you for finally speaking up, but stay out of my business. That's what she told them, Loki, without saying it. And I was like, Tamar! Tamar, Tamar, Tamar. Anybody that's a fan of Tony Braxton's, no. Tony Braxton don't get in no drama. And if she's in something, it must have cut deep for her to put her two cents in because she won't do it. Tony said to herself some out of business. But she sure spoke up about that boyfriend. It wasn't nice. Um, we see that far too often. When women are in a situation with a man, where the man is no good or he's doing no good, and people that are close to them speak out on it, they usually side with men. It sucks, but it happens. And it's just like, why? Why? But once again, we don't know what's going on behind closed doors with Tamar and her family or her boyfriend or ex-boyfriend, whatever. But I can't call it. I can't. Now, I do remember on the Braxton family values, the boyfriend did not want fame. He did not want spotlight. But Tamar kind of forced him into it in a way. But now her family is saying that he's clout chasing and this is what he wanted all along. But then Tamar came back and said, that's not what he wanted. And I'm just like, this is too much. I feel like it should be handled off of social media. Honestly, honestly. But then again, their family lived their life on the TV screen. So I guess they kind of, yeah, they're kind of stuck at this point. 
They can't really not. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Some people are saying this promotion for the show because the new season starts next month. I would like to hope not because it's, it's very serious. But you never know. Right? But I just feel like Tamar needs to stay on social media. Social media is not the place that she needs to be right now at all. Mentally, so social media can be bad. <laughs> Period. If you're in a good state of mind, social media can be bad and put you in a bad state of mind. So if you're already in a bad state of mind, I can only imagine what it's going to do. So, enough of that one. Darius McRae, the guy that played Eddie Winslow on Family Matters, he gave a big shout out to Sydney Starr. Sydney Starr is a transgender female. So now they're trying to drag him on social media and talk about his sexuality. And I then asked myself, why is that their business? Why is that anybody's business? What that man do? But nobody can really answer. Now, the mother of his children, or child, I don't know how many he has, I know he has at least one. She went and posted, how do you think this is going to make your child feel, da 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 Women, 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 women. A man's sexuality, well, this go for men and women, whoever is raising their child. If your partner that you slept with, you had a baby with, decides that they want to go and date the same sex, that's not harming your child. Don't bring the child into this. You may feel some type of way, and I'm, I'm sure that's what it is. So now you're trying to use a child as a scapegoat. No, baby girl, that's not your business. That child probably not even old enough to understand what is going on. Because I, I doubt that child is old enough to read through comments on social media. So for all that child know, he posted another woman on social media. And I mean, technically, that is what Sydney Star is. She's a transgender woman. Let it go. Just say you hurt. But let that hurt go and mind the business. They always say, y'all, the hardest part about the business is minding your own. Don't let that go over your head. Mm -mm. And it's true. I'm sure. But I like the fact that he's unbothered. He made a whole separate post, comments, everything. I said more power to you. Because if he does like whatever he likes, if he's a part of the LGBTQ community, let him be that. I commend you. Because there's a lot of people in the industry that's down low and they won't do what you did. That's just my thoughts on that. And now. We have y'all clown of a president. Because he ain't mine. Y'all clown Donald Trump. Donald Trump Twitter fingers got the rambling again and he's going off at the lip. I think he's lost any marble that he had left, seriously. He tweeted yesterday. Well, when y'all see this, it probably two days ago. Um, he tweeted. Three of the biggest attractions to me in the U.S., he said California is going to hell Vote for Trump Illinois has nowhere to go Vote for Trump New York has already gone to hell Vote for Trump Now I'm not the most political person on earth But I would like to think That you shouldn't be Talking badly about states during election season, because people already voted. Early voting started a couple days ago, depending on where you live. 
And you thought that was the right time to say that these places are going to hell? And if they are going to hell, guess who's going to be there before them? You. I'm like, what is going on? But this is also coming from the man who says he had COVID, but then said he's immune to COVID. If you're immune to something, don't that mean you can't get it? I know I'm not Webster or a dictionary. I know I'm not Einstein. But listen, I was born on a day, but it wasn't yesterday. But I don't think that's the definition of immunity. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, shoot me up in the comments. But I don't think that I'm wrong. I don't. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's y'all president, that's y'all president, that's y'all president. Oh, y'all, he, oh my God. <laughs> he went on a rant at a rally saying that he will, he's so immune to COVID that he will go out in the audience and kiss all the men, kiss all the beautiful women. Didn't somebody from a Trump rally pass away from COVID? Hmm. Okay. Right. Cool. I don't know if the man is meant to, yeah, he's mentally ill. He gotta be. He has to be. And then it's like you all you you wanna just look at it like maybe He's doing this because he know or he has a feeling that he may not win. So you want to go out with a bang because the government is coming for him. The government is coming for Trump and them taxes that he did not pay. And he know that. So he's living it up while he can. I commend you. Let me give you a round of applause. Mm. Voila! You gotta you gotta applaud a clown. Because clowns do things for entertainment. Clowns do things to make you laugh. But we're not laughing. Clowns also do stuff to piss you off. Oh, we're pissed off. Congratulations. If that was your goal, you you achieved it. You accomplished it very well. Actually, you accomplished it many years ago, but hey, whatever. And speaking of voting, speaking of voting, so I don't know if y'all noticed, um, the New York Times reported that the Republican Party has admitted to putting out fake ballot boxes in California. That's eliminating so many votes. We don't even know how many at this point. So now my question is, oh, election people, oh, political people, whatever y'all are, whatever your name is, does Trump now get disqualified for running from presidency? Running for presidency, I'm sorry. Because they tamper with the votes. The Republican Party tampered with votes in California. And nobody's doing anything about it. Hmm. Hmm. But oh, they were so in 2016, they were so caught up and so stuck on Hillary's emails. But this man has done a plethora of things that are illegal. Tempering with votes. 
and they're doing nothing. Oh, America, America. America, America. The beautiful, huh? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fool y'all. I can't believe I sat there eight, six times croquet. Okay, that's I have some greedy stuff. But y'all know I'm greedy though. Huh? I don't see nothing wrong. With a little eating food. Nope. Woo! <laughs> that wine just came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> Y'all about to get out of here. Um, yeah, so that was Tea Time with Trav. Um, Y'all, all the topics I talk about is because they, they you know, they kind of stick with me in some way, form, or fashion. Don't take my word and make it make it gold. It, it, it's don't, is that the word I'm trying to use? I don't know. I'm giving y'all my opinion. But I also like to hear y'all opinions, so I love when y'all comment. I promise I do, y'all. See, I've been getting much better with responding to the comments. But I love reading them because y'all have so much to say. And that, that's what I like. I like the dialogue. I like that. I like the back and forth because I can be wrong. I can have some information wrong. Most times I don't. Because um, <laughs> I've been researching before. I talk about it. But... And then also, everybody sees stuff differently. So the way that I see something may not be the same way that you see it, and that's okay. And it's okay to have intellectual dialogue. We can go back and forth. You state your opinion, I say mine, and we, you know, without it being any bad blood. So I like that. So make sure y'all continue to comment. If y'all have any topics y'all want me to talk about, hit me up on Instagram. Slide in the DM. Do you like it? And tell me what y'all want me to talk about. Um... I am talking about a lot of stuff, mainly stuff, you know, in just really big in media, pop culture, etc. Um, yeah. So I'm about to go and sign out because I am full. And I still need to edit this video before it comes out tomorrow. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the red button right there, boom. Hit the bell right there, boom. So you'll be notified each and every time I drop a video, but guess what? If you're on second, it's I'm learning number two. Jump back to the description box, down below. boom. Don't see me so sweet. The Facebook snaps into an Instagram alley. I don't know. Let me come to Instagram. Let me do this. Let me come to do do. Let me know what's up. What's up? 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 What's up?